So let's talk about narcissistic toxic rage and leaving at the first instance of rage. And of course, if you knew her, I'm a narcissist. I actually had narcissistic personality disorder. So during the Super Bowl, Tubi, the streaming service, ran an ad where it made it ran a commercial where it made it seem like the channel was being changed to their app. And this ended up being posted online right here. I broke up with my boyfriend over the Tubi Super Bowl commercial. So the top part right here just kind of explains what happens. Like Tubi ran the commercial. The boyfriend actually thought that she was changing the channel and he went off. Now, to me, this is an example of toxic narcissistic rage, but let's check it out right here. Let's break it down. My boyfriend thought I was the one changing the channel and began screaming at me violently, calling me things that I don't even want to write down. Narcissistic toxic rage is oftentimes irrational and, it, and it's an overreaction to something minor. You get a level 10, level 15, level 20 re reaction to a level one, you know, level one offense or perceived offense. Even as I told him it was a commercial, he ignored me and kept blowing up at me and punched a hole in our living room wall. If they punch the wall, if they throw things at you, they want it to be you. They're trying to intimidate you. He eventually realized what actually happened and awkwardly apologized, but I was so disgusted of his reaction to a 15 second commercial. Oops, I'm sorry for screaming and yelling at you, talking about your trauma, blaming you, punching a hole in the wall and doing all this other stuff. <laughs> it wasn't my fault though, Tubi, it's old Tubi. Blame Tubi and blame you for not actually explaining it to me better. Y'all, that commercial was 15 seconds. I feel like if you can't keep your anger in check and get that violent over something so small, I don't want to be around for it. Yes, if you can explode over something that minor, something that minor, just imagine if something bigger were to happen. We've been together for over a year, living together for the past two months, and I've known him to get angry at things sometimes, but this really took me off guard. And I can't forget how unsafe I felt around him during this. My advice for people dealing with toxic narcissistic relationships is to leave at the first offense, leave at the first blow up, the first lie, the first rage, the first cheat, the first whatever, the first red flag, y'all. Everybody doesn't deserve a second chance, especially if they can blow up this majorly over something minor, something per a perceived discretion, perceived indiscretion. Because next time, instead of punching the wall, he get her or they could you or they could unalive you and send you send you on send, uh, send you to meet god in the morning i took some of my things and now i'm staying at my parents house i left him a note telling him how i felt and i didn't think we were going to work out long term narcissistic toxic people will try to blow you up and, and, and exhaust you into giving them a second chance third chance 15th chance my parents told me that i'm overreacting since he had had a bit to drink and the super bowl gets everyone like this well intended bad advice keeps people in toxic abusive relationships way longer than you need to be trust your intuitions your parents are not always right y'all trust me that is a huge red flag stay safe